We turn to the breaking news overnight as we learned the prime suspect in the 2005 disappearance of Natalie Holloway will be extradited to the United States. Whit Johnson has the latest. Good morning, Whit. Michael, good morning to you. It's one of the most high profile mysteries of the past two decades. We still don't know exactly what happened to Natalie Holloway, but that suspect, Joran Vandersloot, who was never charged in her disappearance, will be extradited to the U.S. within days. This morning, nearly two decades after Natalie Holloway disappeared, the main suspect in the case, Joran Vandersloot, will be extradited to the United States on charges stemming from the search for Holloway. Peru's government making the rare agreement to transport Vandersloot to the U.S. from his cell in a Peruvian prison, where he's serving a 28-year sentence for the 2010 murder of another young woman, 21-year-old Stephanie Flores. Once back on American soil, Vandersloot will face fraud and extortion charges in Alabama, where he was indicted in 2010 for allegedly demanding a quarter million dollars from Holloway's mother, Beth, in exchange for information leading to where the teen was buried. Overnight, Beth announcing the long-awaited extradition, writing she would have been 36 years old now. It has been a very long and painful journey, but the persistence of many is going to pay off. Together, we are finally getting justice for Natalie. 18 years ago this month, Holloway disappeared on the last night of a high school class trip to Aruba. According to Aruban police, she was last seen with Vandersloot, a Dutch national living on the island after what was described as a night of drinking. In 2006, Vandersloot sat down with ABC News and recounted the last time he says he saw Holloway. Yeah, the last time I saw her, she was sitting in the, on the sand by the ocean. And when asked if he killed her? No. Natalie's parents say they were victims of a botched investigation from the start by Aruban authorities after Vandersloot was initially arrested but then released due to a lack of evidence. Her mother returning to Aruba in 2018 to retrace her daughter's steps. I helped her get her bag out of the car and just kissed her goodbye. Never could I have imagined. Now, Holloway's body was never found, but a judge eventually declared that she was deceased. ABC News has learned that Vandersloot's extradition is likely to happen within a week, perhaps as early as this weekend. Michael. All right, thank you, Wit. For more now, we're joined by ABC News Chief Legal Analyst Dan Abrams and ABC contributor and former FBI agent Brad Garrett. Gentlemen, thank you for joining us. And Brad, I want to start with you. This is very unusual. What, what would it have taken to get Peru to extradite someone who's already behind bars there? I would say concessions either in the economic or political world. Uh, for example, there are sanctions, travel sanctions to Peru. Perhaps the State Department has lifted those. New president in Peru, so maybe he's more inclined to help us. And, and, and I'll add something to that, and that is that there was just an extradition at the end of April of Peru's former president back to Peru. He was living here. They'd been, they'd been wanting him for years, and the process has been in place since 2018, mm. where they've been trying to get back the former president of Peru, who was president there from 2001 to 2006, Alejandro Toledo, and he's wanted there on corruption charges. He got sent back at the end of April. I've got to believe mm. that that is connected to this mm. deal happening just weeks later. It's connecting the dots like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Okay, this extortion and fraud charges against Vandersloot, how... How strong is this case against him? Look, these are document cases. This is stuff where you have emails, et cetera. That tends to make these kinds of cases easier against someone like that. So I would expect they're going to have a pretty strong case to bring against him, and I expect it to move pretty quickly. And Brad, this isn't about uh, Natalie Holloway's disappearance, but what does it mean for her family? I think it's, it has big potential, George. Think about it, having... Vandersloot on U.S. soil, still facing lengthy time in Peru. He may well be motivated to get out of Peru, and perhaps he might finally tell the truth. And we heard Brad said lengthy time, Dan. He's already served 28 years for murder in Peru, got another 18 years for drug charges. What would happen if, even if he is convicted right. in the U.S.? And that's the question we don't know the answer to, because this is what is called a temporary extradition, right? It's supposed to be for the judicial proceedings. So what happens? He's convicted here, mm -hmm. and then they send him back to serve the rest of his time in Peru? Or he's convicted here, and he has to serve the time here first? That's something that will have to be worked out mm. between the Peruvian and American authorities. But again, I would bet that that might have been part of whatever deal they made. 
as to where he would serve that time if he's convicted. But it's, it's a great question that we don't know the answer to yet. All right. Yeah, thank you, guys. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.